Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This time around, it is Rapid Reload for the Sony PlayStation 1, also released in Japan as Gunner's Heaven. This game came out in Europe as Rapid Reload, though it did not come out in America at all because something something 3D good 2D bad for whatever reason, and well, we kind of missed out on a... Gunstar Heroes clone for the 32-bit systems and this was actually made by Media Vision before they made the Wild Arm series and I played about half of this game and what I liked I enjoyed even if you can get pretty hard pretty quickly so without further ado let's go ahead and press start to start the game and from here, we can either start the game right now, or we can customize, which takes us to the options. BGM type. There are two BGM types, A and B. I'm going to keep it on A for now. And two key config. Press circle, we'll go there. Square lets you shoot. X lets you jump. Circle lets you shoot out a screen clearing bomb, assuming you have one in your possession. Triangle lets you switch weapons. I'll explain that in detail more. R2 lets you shoot out a wire that kind of works like a grappling hook. And L2 is lock, which locks you in place, so that way you can aim the gun without moving. I will get into more detail about that when the time comes. Try not to yawn here because I'm doing this after midnight. <laughs> And uh, there are three types of configurations. I fail to see what type A, type B, and type C do. And circle on exit to exit. And circle on exit to exit again. Might as well go ahead and start the game now. And when you start the game you get to play as one of two characters. You get to choose between them. There's Axel Sonics, and there's Ruka Hetfield. Basically, you're playing as one of two treasure hunters. They're both going after a stone known as the Valkyrie, which has very magical powers. Think of the Sorcerer Stone, and you'll probably have a good idea of what the Valkyrie is. Unfortunately, an evil organization known as the Pumpkinheads are going after the Valkyrie as well, in order to use the use this stone for world domination and we have to stop them so if you're wondering what the story is now you know I played as actual Sonics in my practice run and that's who I'm going to go with for this playthrough I will eventually play as Ruka Hetfield assuming that this game does not give me that much trouble but for now I'm just going to play as Axel And here we are. We are on the gameplay screen. Up at the top, we have our score, our health meter, and our current weapon. We are on normal, as the end indicates. We can also switch to a homing shot, which kicks in when enemies are on screen. We have a glide shot, which can create some energy waves when they hit walls and ceilings and floors. And we have a fire shot. It's a fireball shot that does heavy damage. Really good against bosses. And of course our normal shot is our everyday normal shot. Your rapid fire contra machine gun. At the top is power. We will collect P gems. Those will power up our gun and make our weapons more effective. Thankfully we have infinite ammo for all four weapon types. Though you only have one property for all four weapon types that you have. It's not like Gunstar Heroes where you can combine stuff. Gunstar Heroes still has some things on this game. This is basically a simpler version of Gunstar Heroes, more or less, on a more powerful console, but it is by no means easy. And I'm going to switch to the homing shot because that will allow me to blow through enemies just as soon as they show up. 
And the little P-Gems, these red P-Gems gives us one point for our power. And we need as many as we can to make destroying things a little easier. Let's go ahead and destroy this tank here just to get it out of our way here before we run out of power. There's a bomb. We now have two stream clearing bombs for just in case. And I want to destroy this mech before it gives me a hard time. And the red P gems are worth one. The yellow ones are worth five. We managed to get one off of that mech that we just destroyed, which will shoot at us if left on screen long enough. And let's go ahead and destroy these things too, because I would love to do that. And another yellow P gem. By the way, if you're wondering how I'm grabbing onto the platform above, just hold up while jumping, you'll grab on, and then you can press up again to vault yourself up. There's some health from that thing that we just blew up, that little yellow box. Definitely want to get that if in case we're low on life. And we're about to meet our first boss. Sometimes you'll have one or you usually have one or two sub bosses before you meet the main one. And here's what I'm going to do for this guy. I'm going to say all the way to the left. I'm going to keep firing the fireball. That way I'm going to do the most damage. And I will be able to wipe this thing off the map. By the way, down and jump lets you slide. Also like in Gunstar Heroes. I should mention that while I have the chance. So you can slide. You can throw enemies in case they get in close too with the square button, with your shot button. And right here, we have these turrets coming out of the ground and sometimes out of the ceiling too. You want to watch out for that. And want to be careful with the homing shot. By aiming the homing shot in different ways, you can make sure that you aim at something whenever you need to. Let's destroy these little falling bombs that are coming down from the ceiling. Yeah, sometimes... If you hold up to aim upwards while shooting the homing shot at something, you can aim at whatever is above you, which is actually pretty cool and it's something that I would like to do. Also, if you duck down, you won't get shot by the ceiling turrets. Something to keep in mind. And you are here. Sadly, you won't be able to blow me up. And don't worry about the uh, searchlights. They won't be able to do anything to you. And if I duck down right here, I can take care of the ceiling turret, no worries. And I can just get in close and take care of the floor one, no worries. And in here, if in case we need it, is some life. Let's replenish the one thing that we lost. And the little flashing shuriken that we just picked up, this gave us a boost. This gives our weapons a really big power boost for a limited time. Your power meter will read boost, but eventually it will go back to the number which counts down, and if that number counts down to zero, you run out of boost. So this thing, we can fire the fireballs at it, but this thing will advance towards us and swing its mace at us, and that in which case we want to use the homing shot in order to keep doing damage. Also, when the mace hits the floor, watch out for the little projectiles that rise up from the ground and also do a ton of damage and it's time for me to duck down to avoid the mace and keep firing the homing missile and yeah you just kind of want to get in the center of all those little projectiles that come down from where the mace is from where the mace lands so that way you don't have to worry about getting hit by any of them so the power meter, it counts down whenever you col we start collecting the, the little P-gem that we've been seeing across the stage. And if it ever hits zero, well, our gun is back down to normal power, and that's no fun for anyone. So you definitely want to keep your gun powered whenever possible. And it also helps to not get hit either. Definitely don't want to get hit either. And we will run out of power eventually, but we will find... Another P-Gem, eventually. It'll be in that box. You two get out of my way. And let's destroy all of you. And grab this blue P-Gem that gives us 30 for the power. 
and let's jump up so that way we can get this elevator running. And we should be reaching our first boss soon. So, you're after Valkyrie. Too bad, because us pumpkin heads will get the treasure first. And to go past the dialogue, you can either wait for it or you can press the circle button. And Guardian, we have reached our one true boss for this stage. Now, thankfully, our power meter, whenever we face a boss, it does stay on that number, so you don't have to worry about your power running out. So anyway, these two things. You want to just destroy these things with the homing shot. Watch out for the shots that these things can shoot, and also watch out for the flames that can come out of them as well. And we've destroyed both of those things already, so let's go ahead and avoid the orbs, which is very easy to do while we shoot at the boss with the homing shot. We will take this boss down eventually. Just keep at it with the fancy footwork and you should be fine. And once you get this thing down to, I believe, 2,000? Yeah, you get it down to 2,000. You can keep firing at this thing with the homing shot. But if this thing ever stops to shoot the laser downward that you don't want this, won't want touching you at all, switch to the fireball. That way you continue to do that. Or not, I guess I can just switch to homing. But we have beaten the Guardian. We have beaten the boss for the first level of the game. There are six in all. And this boss was really easy to beat. You should judge people by their appearances. Darn it! We'll find the Valkyrie first at any cost. And that is the first level of the game complete. And we have some more awesome music for the second level of the game, which we will be playing in the next video. So join me next time for the second level of Rapid Reload. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!